Thank you, Ken. The CBC stands for leadership, it stands for integrity, and most of all, it stands for independence. And I think all of us can agree that nobody exemplifies those virtues as much as our governor, Andrew Cuomo. I've known Andrew for more than two decades, since 1989, when I worked as his assistant at HELP, an organization he created to provide housing and services for homeless families. I got to witness firsthand his unique ability to take lofty ideas and convert them into concrete, decisive action. And it's that combination of vision and execution that really makes him a special leader. It's hard to believe he's only been governor for 14 months, given how much he's already accomplished. He closed a $10 billion deficit with no gimmicks. He passed the toughest property tax cap in the nation, and then followed that by reforming the whole income tax system. He led the way for same-sex marriage, setting a standard for the whole country. Two weeks ago, he was able to negotiate a settlement to the teacher evaluation debate. And next, he's going to take on pension reform, something that the CBC has been calling for for years. And I'll tell you something. This governor is not slowing down anytime soon. Governor Cuomo, I can't tell you how much what you've done is critical, not just to the people in this room, but to every citizen of the Empire State. And so it is my distinct privilege to award the CBC's highest honor for civic service to a great man, a truly great friend, and an even greater governor Andrew Cuomo. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I want to start with a suggestion. I think next year we can sell more seats to this dinner. I think there's a little space right over here. We could have had another seat. And right here, we could have had another seat. So I think there's, there's still more, more room for improvement for next year. First, to uh, Rob Spire. As you heard from Rob, I've known him many, many years. Uh, he worked with me in a not-for-profit I started many years ago. And he's gone on to be a phenomenal international businessman, a great civic leader. The Italians have a word, quell. I quell when I see Rob. <laughs> Let's give him a round of applause, Rob Spire, for the great job he's doing. <laughs> to tonight's honorees, Condé Nast and Google and uh, New York State DEC and Nurserta. Let's give them a round of applause for their great work. to the CBC, which is a very important organization in this dialogue in this city and this state. It brings credibility, it brings information, it brings reasonable advocacy, and it does a great public service, and we need it today more than ever. Uh, and all the trustees and all the staff that make the organization run, all the donors, uh, we, owe them, we owe them all a round of applause, and the juggernaut, who actually makes it all happen, Carol Kellerman. Let's give her a round of applause. I thank you very much for this honor. As the uh, governor of the state of New York, I will accept it on behalf of the state administration. 